the U.S. Navy and Boeing conduct the first carrier tests of the MQ-25. The U.S. Navy and Boeing have successfully deployed Boeing's own T-1 test rig on a U.S. aircraft carrier for the first time. Naval operations' initial steps to ensure that the MQ-25 unmanned aerial tanker seamlessly integrates with carrier operations. USS George H.W. Bush, CVN-77, a Navy flight deck swain known as Yellow Shirt, used standard hand signals to direct her T-1 as well as other carrier-based aircraft. But it was not the pilot who received the command, but Boeing's MQ-25 deck handling his operator, DHO, who used the new portable his deck his controller to give the order to the aircraft. It was right next to the Yellow Shirt. This is an important step in integrating the MQ-25 into the carrier air wing on the flight decks of our fleet's aircraft carriers. Chad Reed, Program Manager, Unmanned Aircraft Carrier. The success of this event is a testament to the efforts of our engineers, testers and operators, as well as the close cooperation and teamwork of the Atlantic Naval Air Force and the crew of his CVN-77. The purpose of the demonstration was to confirm that the MQ-25 design could be successfully integrated into an aircraft carrier environment and to assess the capabilities, capabilities and handling qualities of his handling system on deck during day and night. Maneuvering includes taxiing on deck, connecting the catapult, clearing the landing area, and parking on deck. The Navy has strict and established procedures for moving aircraft around aircraft carriers. Our goal is to ensure that the MQ-25 fits the process without changing it. It was, said Jim Young, chief of the MQ-25 and his engineer. From the design of the aircraft to the design of the system moving it, our team has worked hard to make the MQ-25 carrier suitable in every way. DHOs trained in Boeing's deck handling simulation lab in St. Louis, where they practiced entering commands from simulated yellow shirts into the real handheld device. A simulated MQ-25, running the aircraft's real operational flight code and interfaces, would move accordingly. The handheld controller is a simple, easy-to-use device designed specifically for a generation of sailors who natively understand such handheld technology and have experience with controllers used in the gaming industry today. The deck handling demonstration followed a two-year flight test campaign for the Boeing-owned T-1 test asset during which the Boeing and Navy team refueled three different carrier-based aircraft, an F-A-18 Super Hornet, an E-2D Hawkeye and an F-35C Lightning II. The Navy gave us two key performance parameters for the program, aerial refueling and integration onto the carrier deck, said Dave Bugeld, Boeing MQ-25 Program Director. We have demonstrated that the MQ-25 can meet both requirements, many years ahead of traditional acquisition programs.